Fellow Nigerian, take a look at this heartbreaking photograph. What do you see? A predator, leopard. A lifeless mother and infant holding on to life. Oh, <laughs> you have seen well, but draw closer. Aren't you touched by the sight of the baby baboon clinging on to the lifeless mother, ignorant of the looming catastrophe ahead? That picture has a sad ending. By ignorantly clinging on to the lifeless mother and refusing to let go, both ended up in the belly of the big cats. A double tragedy for the baboon family, you will agree. The message from this picture to you and I is overwhelming. The predator, leopard, is the Nigerian political merchants, north and south. The lifeless baboon is our beloved homeland, Nigeria, brutalized, made financially, economically, infrastructurally, educationally, and productively lifeless. By incompetent leadership, political merchants, disguised foreign nationals, and evil power permutations. That baby clinging to the lifeless mother is you, your family, your security, and the future. Yet like the baby baboon, you are clinging to this lifeless country, oblivious of the looming calamity ahead. Darkness. Please rescue yourself, your family, homeland, value, security, and future generations. Now, lately you face imposed artificial car shortages in the banks, acute petrol scarcity, and intensified low power supply. Of course you know why. So, stand your ground, protect your freedom and security. This February, vote for security of assets and life. Committed and compassionate leadership, production-centered economy, export-driven industrialization, agricultural revolution, reduced cost of governance, expansive infrastructural investments, efficient and honest civil service. Fellow Nigerian, the sunlight, our next president, 200% Nigerian citizen, Peter Obi and Dati, thank you. We are going through a critical phase. These are the existential election mm. for our country. It must not be based on tribe. Mm. We have heard that story enough. It must not be based on religion. Mm. It must not be based on anybody's tongue. It must be based on character that has a proven record that is verifiable and we can trust. It must be based on competence. Somebody who has proven competence with a viable background. We know his name. We know where he says he's gone to school, where he has been. In my own case, I've said it. My name is Mr. Peter Obi. I went to Christ the King College, Onicha. I was in the University of Nigeria, Soka. For trainings, I've been to several <laughs> other institutions <laughs> of the world. Some of which I'm an anonymous. As we talk and pray today, I want you to put Nigeria in prayers. I want you to pray for peaceful election. I want you to pray for free and fair election. I want you to pray for progress of this our country. We want a new Nigeria. New Nigeria will be provided by labor. It will be provided by Peter Obi and Dati. Hold me, hold Dati responsible. Hold us responsible for security. Hold us responsible for your employment. Hold us responsible for your future. Hold us responsible for everything. We are not going to give you excuse. This is not going to be government of excuse. It is government of action. It is government of action. It is government of action.